the room at those meetings. Monterey County as well, and, and other counties. But those are my two main counties. It's neat that when I see a doctor, they'll come up to me and say, geez, Jim, you're everywhere. And that's, that's true, I am everywhere, because I do all of these events. I'm a lifer, like I said. What can I, what can I say? Question. Yeah. So you're talking about integrating with, with your operatory uh, computers. Uh-huh. Is the technology there at this point to have the sensors go directly to a, a tablet of some sort, a mobile tablet that is hooked up with a wireless net network? I mean, I saw you have a USB port. Yeah. But you still have to be able to download some type of reading software on your tablet, right? Um, yes and yes. We have we have different sensors. We have a 6500 sensor, which is the model number. Okay. That's a wireless sensor. Um, Wi-Fi connection, not Bluetooth. Um, so that would, that would be one way to do it. I just have a tablet. A lot of the oral surgeons like that because they can just jump it real quickly room to room. Um, or multiple office locations. Um, but it's got to be a Windows platform. No, no, no Mac. Not yet. Not yet. Great images. No, but the, the surface is like 400 bucks or 300 bucks. I mean, so it's the Microsoft. Yeah. Okay. So you can talk, talk, talk right into that, right, Jim? I'm sorry. Like the surface? The, yeah, the exactly. Surface? surface, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Yeah. So do you also have insurance yeah. policies with this when the assistant's throwing what, away? What, Dr. Parrott? Do you also have replacement insurance yeah. when the assistant's throwing away? <laughs> they throw away? <laughs> 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 Lynn Bauer, San Jose, anyone know Lynn? Dennis San Jose on, on Bascom. Um, she called me on a Friday two years ago, literally frantic. What am I going to do? My janitor vacuumed up my sensor. <laughs> well, break the vacuum because the sensor is more valuable than the vacuum. <laughs> get, get the sensor out of the vacuum and it's under warranty. Yes, it was. Thankfully, we replaced it. We replaced the sensors overnight. Our company's based in Atlanta, so the only negative is the three hour time difference. Tech support's open until 10 o'clock Atlanta time, so that's 7 o'clock for us, which is awesome. But UPS would have already left the building by then, so if something happens here by 4 or 5 o'clock, you won't get it the next day just because of UPS timing. But we do ship overnight. I'm going to talk about SEPs real quickly, and then I'm going to jump to, to Vince. Um, and how we're different in terms of any orthodontists in the room? Anyone in the room have a SEF in their practice? Wow, only one. It's a shock. All right, well, maybe, maybe I'll teach you something new. Who knows? <laughs> we're famous for the one shot SEF technology. All film pan SEFs were one shot SEFs. When, when doctors upgraded to digital SEFs, unless they bought ours, they took a step back, because now it's becoming a scan set, which we're going to talk about. So one pulse of radiation, full images captured at one time. Even these were one-shot sets. All the old digital, di or the, excuse me, dinosaur uh, film sets. One shot, boom. So now the scan technology works like a copier machine, or a fax machine. If you hold this completely still, you're going to be okay, right? But if you move a little bit, this is a problem. So it works like the light bar in a copier machine. Patients move, children who squirm, or adults like me that squirm, anyone with special needs, you have a problem. Dr. Ma is the clinical director at, uh, for ortho at UNLV. He's also the clinical director now at um, ClearCorrect, the brace company. And what he talks about, too, is the need for 3D, but you don't always need to scan in 3D. That's a whole other topic, which we can talk about another day. But he's talking about a one-shot set, how it's very important when dealing with patients that are move or fidgety. No disrespect to these companies. I used to sell all of them except for one of them. Absolutely great products. However, they all have a scanner technology. And the reason why is because the technology, the, the, the sensor that goes into the set is less expensive. So that's why companies manufacture that type of machine or that type of technology because it's less expensive. And also, our set is a little bit larger, which could be a problem, but that's because of the one shot technology. Once again, minimizes distortion. All of our pan sets, all of them, one shot. Once again, one shot, the distortion. 
Also for the Ceph, most of the orthodontists, they want to be able to capture the full head for tracing and whatnot. Our, our software has automatic Ceph tracing capabilities. You can still go through and outline the Ceph for yourself if you choose to, but it'll, it'll automatically outline that. Optimize contrast, enhance bone density, and then your edge enhancements. Different views, your lateral view, your frontal, oblique, the carpus too. The other thing too with the, a lot of the orthos that I speak with, or GPs that do ortho, is you want to be able to scan the hand because for, for the growth with, with the, like that. With um, the scan technologies, if, if the patient moves just a little bit, you're, you're just not going to get what you need. Different sizes. On the right hand side, you get a 12 by 12, 10 by 12, 10, 10, 8, 10, and 8, 8, depending upon the size of the patient. We take the Alara principle at CareStream real, real, real big, um, as low as reasonably achievable for the radiation. So you only scan what you need, both on our 2D and our 3D. I'm done. Vince, you're on.